Merry Christmas, uh, YouTube. Uh, welcome back to the Fa Thompson Family Channel. And uh, today we would like to just take a little bit of time and share with you the real reason for the Christmas season. And that is the birth, the miraculous birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we'd like to share a little scripture with you. And uh, today we'll be reading from the, the book of Luke, and it will be chapter 2, and it will be uh, verses 1 through 20. So, the real reason for Christmas. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. They were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto, this, uh, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them, into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. So you two, we just want to say uh, Merry Christmas. And we always hope and pray that if you have never been saved by Jesus Christ, if you have never received salvation, we pray that God blesses you with his Holy Spirit and his Holy Word and his body of believers that will teach you and lead you and that Christ will open your heart and that Christ will draw you to a place where you realize you need to be saved. And we pray that you begin to believe that Jesus Christ conquered death, hell, and the grave, winning victory over sin. And we pray that you ask Jesus to save you from hell. And we pray that you begin to tell the whole world that Christ is your Savior. That's salvation. Just know you're a sinner, believe on Christ, and call upon him, asking him to save you, and telling the world, confessing the world, that Jesus is your Savior. We pray that you do that, 
and uh, we want to tell you that we love you, and we are very thankful for Jesus Christ. We're very thankful for the Christmas story, and uh, that's it. We just want to say bye-bye, and Jesus loves you.